Okay, so uh, right now we're doing, we're covering lab one, program four of program with persistent data. Okay, and uh, that's the one that's uh, it's a bit long as you can see, but um, and also I just have to say that first I did it say I do I try to do it in a longer way, so it's easy to understand. Okay, but uh, I know there's a way too easier to do it, like faster and uh, probably more, more like more efficient but that's not the case right now well it is the case but we don't really want to do that right now okay so uh, we're gonna start okay so again if you don't know what this library means just go to the previous video okay and also we're gonna have to add this library includes a string.h that's just to play with strings okay um oh, too much space here anyway uh, basically what we have right now we have a, a character called, called C three files okay FP which is gonna be the main file okay oh yeah I have to explain this exercise what we have to do is we have a file with a lot of um with text and we have to copy each line to two files okay so if the line if the line is number is even it's gonna go to the FP even lines if it's not if it's odd it's gonna go to the FP odd lines okay and uh, we need to call an array of characters, which is a string called C line 200. Okay, let's just say size of it. I say 200 would be enough, but you can, you know. Then uh, we're gonna create a variable called line, and we're gonna assign it one. We're gonna create a variable i, and we're gonna initialize it to zero, and also a character n, which is um, basically a new line. Okay, so that's just a um, <coughs> for the sake of instance, okay. So um, you see now what we use it, okay? But that's a backslash n means basically new line, okay? So you should know that from before, but if you don't, well, you do now. So we're gonna open three files, okay? We're gonna open the main one, which we're gonna give us written, written permissions. Second one, even lines, is gonna give it writing permissions, and third one, the other lines, we're gonna write it. We're gonna give it writing permissions, okay? So now. If the file is not found, create it. So that's what we're gonna do right here, okay? So we're gonna take if fp is equal to null, okay? We're going to say sorry, we can't open, we can't open the file and just you know get the full house. So okay. Else, if fp is found, okay, is found, uh, we have to check if the other files are found, okay? So if f uh, if the even lines uh, fp is equal to null, what we're gonna do is we're going to open a file. A is to create, okay? A is the argument or parameter to create okay same as r is equal to read and w is equal to write well r a is to create okay so we're gonna create a file in this uh, in this location here and now that the file is created we need to open it so we're gonna open it with writing permissions okay and then we're gonna do the exact same here just here the exact same for the other file okay so if it's not if the fp if the outlines is null we're just gonna have to or create you know a new one and open it with the writing permissions and now we come to the code base okay so that's the code base so well that's what I call the code base anyway so basically what we have and I realize I forgot here the returns here um we're going to assign each character as I said in the previous three videos so if you haven't watched this I'm not gonna go through this again but we assigned uh, each character from the file to C, and we're gonna go through the fucking loop, okay? So, what we have right now is we're gonna check if C is the end of the line, okay? Why are we checking this? Well, I'm gonna go that. I'm gonna go through this in a second. First of all, I'm gonna do what the else statement is, okay? So if C is not equal to a new line, because we're assigned every single character, we're gonna add that character to an array, an array. Oh, okay, so I which now is equal to zero the first Line in the character is going to be C first character is going to be C Okay, so we're going to put it one by one and I plus plus to just keep checking Okay, so if the first a character is a we're going to put a is a, in the first element in the right and I plus plus We're going to open again second character is B. We're going to put B in the in the array Okay, as the second element I plus plus and blah blah blah. Okay, also we're all the time We're just checking if C is the end of the file. Okay, so if it's the end of the file, as always, we're gonna break to get out of the loop, okay? I'll finish this, you know, because if not, it'll be an infinite loop. Um, okay, that's if C is not if it's not the end of the line, okay? But what happens if C is the end of the line, okay? Well, what happens is that we're going to check if line 
a mod 2 is equal to 0 okay that's just to check if the lines are even okay so if line line which is um which as we said before is here is um what's the name is a variable okay now it's one so it wouldn't be um it's going to fp a uh, even line so we're gonna uh, f print f okay so this function has three parameters okay is going to it uh, that's just to print okay a uh, it's just to print strings to a file okay f print f three three arguments first one the file we're gonna print it to second one like you know you know that's just a the delimiter that's gonna be s in this case because of string and then the in the middle string okay sc line okay as we have here okay um and um also what we're gonna do is we're gonna put n a character n in the same file okay what's n again well if we go up again n is equal to this okay is backslash n so what we're doing is we're just printing the entire line and then uh put in a backslash n on the end so it's nice and tidy okay wouldn't really need to do this bit okay but uh we can run it after or actually we can run it well no we run it afterwards with and without it so you can see the difference okay and um if it's and also if c is not the end is not a um, mod 2 is not equal to zero okay so if it's an outline then we're going to do the exact same we're going to print into the f outlines okay it's the exact same bit okay and we're going to do line plus plus and that's just a that's not a function we really need okay that that function is just telling us um that we want to every single item in the array we're going to assign it null so it's going to be empty and that's just the size no how many characters that's just the size of a the array but um funny thing is that we don't really need it so we can just leave it out okay and it's going to assign i is equal to zero why are we calling i is equal to zero well we're calling i is equal to zero because we want things to start printing again from the very start into the i okay so again okay just in case uh, it's going to check if c is the is a, a new line because that's every single character if it's it, if it is it's going to copy the entire string that we created here before it's going to copy it in even lines okay uh, if it's a um, an even line if it's an odd line it's going to copy it here then uh, we're going to copy line plus plus why would line plus plus well that makes sense because every time you know it wouldn't have line plus plus it's gonna, always going to be keep a uh, copying it because line is always going to be one therefore it's always going to copy it as in the outlines okay so we need to add line plus plus okay and i is equal to zero to restart the entire array you know and we're checking if c is the end of the file okay so if you want to right now we're gonna we can check okay we're gonna run this now we want to clear the screen and let's just run that's just warnings as always sorry cannot open file okay a uh, same problem as before okay Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy, paste, paste, and paste. Okay, that's just a. Uh, I'll change the location of everything, and that's just annoying me. Ooh, sorry, cannot open file. Oh yeah, I forgot to change it here. That's just typical me, you know. Don't worry about it. Okay, so that's what you copy, okay? That's just telling us, look, that thing is uploading again, and that's uploading again. That's just iCloud, because a new file, so it's re-uploading it. So if we see, right, look at the lines here, right? This one, power three is this, and then it's putting everything together, right? That's old lines, and that's even lines here. But we have a problem, though. The problem is that they're not together. So now if we print this, if we print the backslash n at the end of each line, And we run it again. You're gonna see that everything's gonna be down, okay? So every single time we're gonna print the back sign just to go to the next line, okay? Um and that's about it, okay? There's also a little problem, right? What's the little problem with this thing? Well the last lines aren't printed. Okay, and you're gonna ask why. Why are the last lines not printing? 
Okay. Well, that's a good point, okay? Because the file, what's going to happen is that this line here, okay, that's just one line, okay? Why is it a one line? Because if I make it bigger, okay, that doesn't have a parcel then, okay? So um, that's why, okay? So that line is not going to print. Why isn't printing, okay? Well, that's a good question. It's not printing because it's going to go one line. Is it backslash then? No, it's not. Backslash? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, copy that, copy that, copy that. It's going to copy one by one. But when it gets to this line, it's going to copy each character to the array. And at the end, there's no backslash then, okay? So how can we fix that? Well, that character here, there's an invisible character just here, which is the end of the file. So what we can do is to copy that line, we can just add here. So if C is equal to backslash n or C is equal to end of the file, okay, now if C is also equal to end of the file, first it's going to copy the lines to whichever the whichever one has to go, and then it's going to check if it's the end of the file to break it, okay, because if we have this first, it's going to break before doing this operation. That's why the end of the file is in this location at the very end, okay. So we're going to save this, we're going to run it again, and as you can see here, whoop, copies so the going to this internet and also here copied okay that's not that's just a it's not here because it's an even line okay so that's just about it okay so i know it's a long video but you know anyway oh what